So it seems like the Steam controller is all over the internet lately, and since I don't tweet, I figured I would just do this. Look, we have one too. Stay tuned for our review right here on NCIX Tech Taps. Speaking of controllers, looks like Nintendo is innovating on their designs again with the upcoming NX console. The Wall Street Journal reports that the company has started to send out software development kits for the NX. According to their sources, the kit consists of the console itself and a mobile unit that can be used both with the console and it can be taken on the road for separate use. So now you can not only give your sister the TV while you keep playing on your tablet controller, you can run away from home altogether and still play your games. As long as you still have your games. The NX is still scheduled, as far as we know, for release in mid-2016. Intel unveiled their tiny low-power Curie processor a while back, but there wasn't really an easy way for tinkerers to start messing around with it. Now the company has teamed up with Arduino to create a tiny motherboard for the chip, which features Bluetooth, a six-axis accelerometer and gyroscope, 384 kilobytes of storage, 80 kilobytes of SRAM, and a 32-bit Intel Quark microcontroller. Whoa, those are some sick specs. But, but... But can it run Crisis? While the rest of us are still drooling over just the idea of getting Google Fiber's one gigabit per second, Chattanooga, Tennessee is laughing in our face. The city's local utility company, EPB, just announced 10 gigabit per second internet service. That kind of ludicrous speed will cost you, though, 299 bucks a month. Hopefully this spurs the rest of the industry to get on upgrading their infrastructure, or we're gonna be left behind while Chattanooga choo-choos their way into the future. <sighs> Time for quick bits! Some users complained last month that Windows Update was downloading the Windows 10 upgrade by itself, but now there are reports that it's even starting the install process. It won't fully upgrade without human permission, but maybe just keep an eye on your updater. He's He's a cheeky little guy sometimes. Researchers from Microsoft and the University of Washington have shown off a hyperspectral camera. Whoa! They can take images at different wavelengths to effectively see through stuff. Nice. Intel has reportedly delayed their Cannon Lake line of 10 nanometer processors to the second half of 2017, so don't hold on too long if you're planning to upgrade. Yahoo just killed off passwords for their email service. Yahoo Mail users will now get a push notification sent to their phone, which they would then approve to log into their mail on desktop. And Google has killed off OK Google on desktop. You can still use voice search in Chrome, but they're just taking away the voice activation as well as the notification center because apparently no one uses it and I think they're right. New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Yeah, see, I saw the weather guy do this, and I don't think I'm gonna get it. I mean, Jan Just as good. Now, the words that just came out of my mouth is probably, to you, nonsense. But you know what else is nonsense? Overpaying for a subpar shave. That's where Harry's comes in. They're two guys who started a company and bought a German razor factory that's been making high quality blades and handles for a hundred years. Also, they can sell their products directly to you at a fraction of the cost of the bigger guys. 15 bucks gets you a Harry's razor, two extra blades, and either hydrating foaming gel or moisturizing shave cream, but, Click this link right now to go to harrys.com and enter promo code NCIX at checkout to get five bucks off your first order. And shipping is free in the States. I can personally attest to the quality since, voila, wait. Oh, I haven't shaved yet. Aha! Surprise. So click here, enter NCIX at checkout, get five bucks off. It really helps us out, guys. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Click here for more videos, follow us on social media over here, and click here to check out NCIX Esther's YouTube channel, which has actually been around for quite a while, but we kind of stopped uploading to it. Now we are again. We just uploaded a little vlog we made on the last weekend of the night market. I tried squid for the first time, and well, let's just say perhaps my mind was was opened a little bit, but, but really, it's a mollusk. You know what else are mollusks? Slugs. So it's like eating slugs. I won't have it, except I already had it. But it was delicious. It was delicious. You can watch the vlog. It's the whole experience. I didn't say subscribe yet. Like the video and subscribe, will ya? All right. See you later. I'm so fast.